I'm JD Schomburg with Online Resources, and today we're going to do an open box of the new MetraScan Black Elite from Creoform. This is the new version of the MetraScan 750. Um, so we'll go ahead and look at the packaging, how it came. We'll fast forward through the setup, and then I can give you a little more details on how that went and the tips and tricks that we saw during setup, and then a very quick demo for you guys. So uh, we'll go ahead and dig in. We'll start. The cases look exactly the same. Um, the, this is the MetraScan case here. Um, we have a couple cables, and I remember from the product launch that one of the cables is a little different for the calibration plate. It is going to look almost the exact same as the actual cable for the MetraScan itself. So this will allow it to have power and data to the calibration plate. And then the MetraScan um, looks pretty similar. We have, I like the look, they've gone with a, there were some silver accents on the scanner itself. It's all matte black finish now. Um, it, it looks pretty slick. And then I like that they've continued with the thumb controls. That was a really nice feature on the last session so the mechanical function of that with your thumb I really enjoyed um, they've kept that the same we'll see if there's any software upgrades with that and then your calibration plate this feels a lot more sturdy um, I wonder if they've machined this out of like a billet now instead of yeah so this is um, feels pretty robust but looks almost the same and we should have a power cord and a data adapter that matches the MetraScan cable. One of the things I'm already thinking about now is I'd like to uh, test in the future if those cables are interchangeable and we can uh, play with them a bit. So if one cable goes bad, we might be able to swap the other one out. And then here's the C-Track case. Looks pretty similar. Again, the, I can already tell these used to be a, a gray silver. Um, now they're a nice matte black finish on the C-Track itself. But it looks like we have our calibration bar, tripod, our cables, power, the brains controller behind the system, and then our handy probe. So if we look at the handy probe, it uh, looks pretty similar, so I think they've kept the um, physical structures almost the same on that. We'll test that out in another video as well. And then the C-Track, it's pretty slick. I like this. Um, they've, this will be neat. There's a little light projection down here, um, and you'll see some of a small design pattern in there. That might make it easier to actually see the lights that are giving you feedback information for the C-Track. And then it looks like uh, they've also added, this is gonna be a nice feature, um, locking mechanisms for your cables. So your USB cables are gonna lock into place similar to your power. So that's another good feature that I'm noticing right away. And let's see if anything new on the controller. Yeah, again, just a, a nice compliment. This is a marketing and design strategy for everything matte black for the uh, MetraScan Black Elite. And that's nice. They've even done that, those locking mechanisms on the back of the controller. And then it also looks like we're gonna have for the calibration plate, we'll probably plug the power into the accessories port. And that's instead of just doing the USB supplied power there. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and go to our wide shot now and fast forward on setting all this up. So we'll see you in a few minutes.
Okay, so I think we have just about set everything up. Um, took a couple minutes and pretty simple. Uh, everything seems to be about the same. Um, the new thing that I was looking at was a stand for the control uh, or for the calibration bar. Um, this I know is going to be a neat feature that we probably won't go into right now, but I'll just speak to. As the system is warming up, um, we can actually place this in the volume of scanning and skip that warm up time. So this is our calibration monument that as long as it's live in the volume, we're going to be able to start scanning immediately and hold all of those, um, all of the accuracies and settings. The other thing that I noticed, um, it comes with the calibration certificate. Uh, the C-Track and the Metroscan, or I'm sorry, the Handy Probe Next Elite and the Metroscan Black Elite are now VDI VDE 2634 certified, as well as the ISO 17025 certification. And so you have all your certificates with that. That's awesome. If we have that international traceability, um, that really opens doors for fitting into different ISO certifications. Um, and so we'll go ahead and I'll get my mouse here and we'll move forward and see where we are. Everything's plugged in and should be working well. So we do have a notice saying that it's warming. Um, while it's doing that, I'm gonna play with this um, calibration setting and see if it'll allow me to just pop right into it. So I'll put the calibration bar, um, I think somewhere in that volume, and then we'll ask for, an, yep. So it's waiting for the compensation. It says it's in a good spot in the volume. And cool. Um, Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead and see if I can go ahead and start scanning on this stuff. Um, and then we can go and revisit calibration. So this is, I'm kind of pushing the system to the limits here. Um, and just seeing if we can start the calibration process. So let's make sure everything hand controls are, um, I guess I need to set my, make sure I'm in the volume of, all of this. Um, oh, that's a good point. So just learned a lesson there. The calibration bar does need to be in the volume while I'm scanning. Um, so that's nice. It told me, hey, FYI, you took the calibration bar out. And then I'm going to go ahead. We have a Mercedes GL450 uh, driver's side door here that we've stripped down. Um, because really what I think the powerhouse of this system is gonna be is sheet metal applications. So looking at edges, holes, slots, things like that. Um, so not only are we gonna put it to the test on those kind of edge applications, but also this is, uh, it looks black, but it's actually a very dark navy blue shiny application. So we'll see how the scanner does. I'm going to go ahead and set it at a shutter speed of around one. Um, and we'll go right into scanning. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I should also say that our resolution right now is at 39 thousandths of an inch. So, man, we are picking up it looks like 1.8 million points per second. And uh, we are using the P5200 graphics card from NVIDIA. But man, this is just screaming through this door at a really good resolution. So I mean, I could probably be done with that.
<laughs> okay, so just to, I'm kind of shocking myself here. Um, we just plugged this in and started scanning. Typically with systems with this kind of accuracy, we would need to really look into uh, warming time and things like that. So within the time that other people are still trying to set up, I've already collected this whole door at 39 thousandths of an inch. That's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and process that real quick. And again, all the hand controls still operate the same. And it's done. So uh, now I could go back and get more of the edges on the other side of the door, but for what we were looking at, these holes and slots, um, <laughs> this is pretty good. So. Cool. So one of the things we're going to go into next is a calibration. Um, we'll go ahead and make that a separate video, but I mean, from right out of the box to just picking it up and going, seems pretty easy, really fast. I love the blue laser lines. Um, the thing I also, I knew this, but it was cool to see, we now have 15 laser line crosses, so 30 laser lines instead of the 14 laser lines before. and like I said, this can go up to eight shutter speed, and I was at a one for a black shiny object. So um, I'm excited to put this to the test on some of the other videos for the resolution capabilities and things like that. Uh, so thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.